Woodward is a summer camp in Tehachapi that has tons of skate parks, indoors, outdoors, and uh, everything you would ever want to ride your bike on. Woodward West is literally paradise if you ride a bike. To get a chance to be there and ride with everyone is just, it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's pretty overwhelming when you rock up. You really don't know what to ride at first. It's got a bit of everything. and You could physically ride that thing for days and days and probably not hit every single ramp there. There's just so much and it has so much to offer. It's got everything that you could ever need. Mongoose Jam this year is a video contest as opposed to previous years when it was more of a you know, kind of judged run contest. Instead of just being the traditional 45 seconds to go try to get your hardest stuff down, now you've got five days. Riding a contest is great, but you need to cram everything into that one minute run. And to be honest, you're not going to do your best things in that, in that one minute because it just doesn't happen like that. I'd prefer to try something for like two and a half hours, blood and sweat and everything. It was super fun, no stress, it's just like, hey, just go out, ride, think of something to film and then that's it. And then the judging happens and you're like, oh shit, like we've already rode, like there's nothing else we have to do, so there's no stress, no nothing. So really good way to have a contest, I feel. When you're filming a video, you want to spend as much time as you need to get the things you want. And some of the things we were filming, I mean, would take hours. All our styles on our team are a bit different. Like Chris can do, you know, everything big and small, but really he does really technical, creative stuff a lot of the time. Jason's just an all-round absolute no case that can write anything that he wants. <laughs> Greg's the most burly dude on the planet. There were five different teams filming at different places around camp, and none of them knew what the other teams were doing. Everyone might have the same things to ride, but everyone thinks differently. and no one else even thought about touching that. Like, we were there and we looked at it and we're like, how do people even ride this? Like, it's just, it's gigantic. Flair dropped it, Byzantium trucked in it. Yeah, it's just so scary, man. All right, I'll do the, the skate park gap, and then we'll just teleport each other, and you do the drop the flat. <laughs> Got you. I can and do we'll, that part. We'll do the 50 50 split <laughs> down the middle. I might have to use the bathroom. <laughs> One gap that I wanted to just jump it, and then two days later, um, Drew tail whipped it. We didn't really believe it at first, but he's an animal, Drew Bazanson. Uh, real dry out here. The lip gets caught sometimes. Just gotta be patient, it'll come back down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I never really stop once I start something, and it's just like you just work for it. And then when you get it, you're just so stoked, and 
it's all worth it. Like, you know, three hours, 300 attempts. It's, it's nothing compared to like when you actually land the trick. The tricks don't come easy. There's always something in your body that hurts, but yeah, it definitely takes a toll on your body. I think what keeps me going is I just hate being beat. I'm my own worst enemy, and I can't walk away from something. Although we're all there together on the same week, like I didn't see a lot of what the other guys had filmed at all. Like I only got to see a lot of the tricks in the videos when it was all done. Everyone absolutely killed it. And then you get the satisfaction of watching it all back at the end of the week, and it's just, yeah. For me, it was the best contest ever. I'm stoked to be a part of it, and I'm stoked on the video. Always in a contest, I'm sure like if we all went out to Woodward, we'd do the exact same thing. Prize money or no prize money, we wouldn't care, we'd do the exact same stuff over again. <laughs>